What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Dark Bestiary. And this is a low flyer. I actually bear I almost missed this one in all honesty. Every now and again you get these weird little games that are like good and they are highly rated. But for like some reason, they just don't come across my recommendeds, they don't show up on any of my searches or any of my lists. I'll be going through trying to set up what I'm going to be doing for the week. You know, on like a on like a Sunday night, and you just miss them. And this is one of those ones I caught out of the corner of my eye while I had like the Steam release list fully expanded, like all over. Like I literally had the full Steam release list for the week of this week all set up, and I was looking for it, and I was like, hmm, this looks kind of interesting. It didn't really have any crazy key art. It didn't really have anything going for it to really pop and make it catch your eye. But after watching some gameplay of it, I actually decided to show it on off. Uh, this game is a customizable RPG about just mashing your way through monsters. So let's check it on out. This is my first impressions of the game, and I, I think we can give it a go, no problem. We can be an enchanter. Look at the pecs on this man. This dude only does bench presses, dude. Bench presses and flies only, bro. That's the only thing we work out when we go to the gym. Besides those ham hock fists too, dude. Uh, we can be a gunslinger. Uh, well, I gotta be a gunslinger. All right, let's do it. Now we gotta choose our hairstyle. That I gotta go with that one right there too. Like my character is basically perfect already. Oh my god, it'll let me have a handlebar mustache. All right, we're officially the cool. I just want my character to look like that. Yeah, that's what he looks like. Uh, let's let's his name's Get a Gat. There we go. And nightmares in the flesh will come to him, and the old graves will crumble into the wet earth. Dark shadows drowning, choking, and rising again from the nothingness. Charred fingers in the cold darkness of the night are reaching out and waiting for his call to the ancient eyes of the Destroyer of All and dragging him into the abyss of their black cradle. Darkness is craving for his soul. It is craving for his outcome. Damn. Uh, every night he saw the same picture, which appeared brighter than in reality. He fought his way through the hordes of evil creatures, blocking his way to the mysterious man in black. He saw his shadow, but it eluded him every time. Forces pulled him through the abyss and pushed him into the arms of emptiness, each time bringing him closer to the stranger, hiding his face. The hour came when he could not endure the terrible abyss that was closing behind him and just threw himself to the mercy of the call. Time after time, he felt with all of his being that he would meet him. Groaning and whispering ties led him on his trail through ancient ridges and deep rivers. Rebellious souls wished only to find some rest from the madness, a crooked path led him to a meadow, beyond which a decayed village lay in a thick haze. The crows in the trees stared at him in silence, and the acrid stench and fumes spread around him. It's pretty intense. Alright, so it's our turn. What can we do here? We can move. Uh, so it looks like we've got those green movement points over there. We've got different guns that we can play around with. What's my range? I can go out to there. Alright, so we're going to move up to this spot right here. Yep, move up to there. Move up to there. It's an invalid target. Why is it an invalid target? Oh, maybe he's one too far. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll move up to here then. Not enough action points. Oh, it hurts my soul. Oh, we shot him with that one though. That one had enough action points. What do we have going on here? Uh, so we've got ranged attacks. Oh, one of them's cheaper. One of them costs more and does more damage. Okay. We've got quick draw, deals 9 to 15 piercing damage, and applies swiftness for two turns. I don't know what swiftness does. I would highly recommend that anytime you have a pop-up window like that, uh, it would have a smaller pop-up window on the side that tells you what swiftness is. That's a feature that I very much like from things like Slay the Spire and Monster Train. Uh, it just helps you quickly and accurately figure out what various status effects and whatnot do. Okay, I'm going to end my turn right there. Well, he's closed the gap. Hopefully we can take him out. Boom. Done. Boom. Swiftness. I don't know what swiftness does. What does swiftness do? My movement speed has been increased. Very nice. Okay, so let's go up here and force him to move to us. Perfect. Alright, so big shot right there. Boom. And he's down. Gun slanging. What loot we got here? We got some chitterlings. Alright. We got a raven skull. We got some feathers. We got poppy. And then we've got a little bit of glowing essence, which apparently is worth a fortune compared to everything else. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things. Oh, we go back to town. Gotcha. Okay, well, let's check out these buildings. Uh, so we've got the vendor. A new client is always a good thing. 
What is this place? If you're a treasurer or a bookkeeper, it's an unremarkable village for you. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just we simple villagers doing an honest job here, but if you're an adventurer, this place is just for you. Okay. Uh, what do you do? You trade stuff? Oh, you've got, like, goodies. Okay. How do I know what proficiencies or whatever I have? Do I even know that information? I don't have any guns or anything, so I might be on my own here. There's a plate helm right there, which is pretty rad. Pretty sexy looking. Apparently, it, it gens in with, like, random stats. Okay. What's on the black market over here? Oh, you gotta refresh it. Fair enough. What's up with the tavern? I don't know where you came from, my dear, but you should probably hurry and get out of here as far away as you can. It's obvious you're not from here, and if you haven't heard, misfortune has descended upon our lands from Raven Meadows to Count's Grounds. Those meadows used to be called just meadows before, but the Count's Grounds have been the Count's Grounds for as long as I can remember. My grandfather used to deliver wine barrels for the nobles' dinner for the crossroads of the forest, but those were the days. Life was no easier, but at least we had some money. I'm looking for someone. Yeah, well, everybody is nowadays. Go to the nearby fields. Maybe you'll find them there. All right. What do you do? Oh, you've got a stash for me where I can throw this stuff on in there. Very nice. Okay, there's a command board over here. Apparently, there's predatory flora. Okay. All right, I should probably take a look and figure out... Oh, there's patrols and things that we can do, too. So my guess is it's going to randomly generate these little quest fights for us. We complete them, we get all these bonuses. Uh, it looks like the enemies are weak to piercing. That's good, because I have a piercing. Let's do it, man. I've got a piercing weapon, so like I'm not even worried about these dudes. Like This should be easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy. Uh, we've got four of these left. Let's go ahead. I don't know how far he can move. How far can he move? Not that far. We'll just wait it out. I see no reason to put my life at risk. Uh, let's go ahead and... What does that do right there? Is that like a mine or something? There's like some mush on the ground right there, and I don't know what it does. It looks like he leaves like a slime trail behind him. Um... Yeah, just keep shooting. I think he's gonna catch up with us. I don't think there's any way out of it. I was gonna say, we're gonna get smacked at some point. So, let's finish him off. Oh, the big attack is actually, you can do that as much as you want. The little attack right there has a cooldown. Interestingly enough. Alright, well, that's my turn. Oh, there's different, oh, I gotta go through the arrow over here. I thought it was just gonna be like a set of battles. But, like, I actually have to, like, travel and do what I do. What is that right there? An altar of blessing? It will increase all of your stats? That does sound pretty nice. I don't super know what to do with these dudes. There we go. We'll get some swiftness right there. Give him a little a light brazing with my pistol. And then we'll fall back over to here. I'm going to have to kite these guys out because they look pretty tough. They didn't deal that much damage to me. Yeah, there's a link up there. All right, good. Good to know. Uh, keep shooting right here. Yeah, those ones die. Uh, I am going to get cornered, though. But that one looks faster than that one. And that one's also squishier. Oh, that one's ranged. Okay, so he's got artillery. Gotcha. Uh, let's take him out then. Yep, we'll just sit him down real fast. We'll do a little attack right there. I probably should have done the swiftness attack, but it kind of is what it is, I suppose. Uh, get him with the big shots. Yep, get me with one of those. Let him waste some AP trying to chase me around. Perfect. Good. I don't think that we get any type of... Nice. So is that for five turns we have that? All stats increased by 20. Let's take a look. So what do my stats do? So defense is pretty self-explanatory. Resistance reduces magic damage. Okay. Attack and spell power goes up by one for might. Ferocity is crit. Precision is critical strike chance. Constitution is HP and leadership. Apparently I can have minions at some point too. Actually, I think playing a game like this with summons would be a really, really fun thing to do. That actually sounds really appealing to me. Maybe we'll try the Enchanter next. Maybe the Enchanter gets like some kind of like golems or something they can summon. Stop! Don't go in there! What happened? We don't know, but the meadow is filled with monsters. Get out of here fast. I'm gonna go see what's there. Be careful. We saw someone wandering in that direction. It looked like a human, but the creatures didn't touch him. Farewell. Okay. Definitely critters in here. Some definite critterinos. 
I think he's going to be able to close with me. God, that's a big critter right there. Yeah, I kind of worry about that. That's a big dude. We do have health potions and things, though, so maybe we'll be able to keep ourselves in one piece. Let's keep moving. It looks like I've been slowed on some level. I'm not getting as much movement as I used to get. I've been immobilized. Lovely. Okay, we'll keep the gunshots going out. He's going to make it to me on this one. Hopefully, he don't hit none too hard. Luckily, he was out of AP right there, so we may be able to finish the bastard off. Nice, got him. No one here. Maybe they're talking about the one that I'm looking for. Yeah, let's keep going. Oh, hey, loot explosion. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned loot explosion, chat? Who doesn't love it? We got chitterlings, raven skulls, sticky glands, lots of things that I can sell, lots of ingredients, too. And we've got a sword right there, just in case you wanted to fight a guy. From what I've read, you're not locked into any particular build in this game. So, like, you can respec whenever you want into whatever you want. It's really your call. As there's a masterwork quilted armor right there. It gives might and constitution. And it gives us defense and resistance. That just gives us flat defense. So it really depends, I guess. You go with heavy armor. If you want physical damage to not really be that big of a deal, but magic's going to hit you a little bit more crunchy. You go with robes if you want to have a lot of resistance, and you go with leather if you want to have like a mixture of the two. Okay, we'll go with a we'll go with an even build for right now. Uh, we hit level two, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we get an attribute point and we get a talent point. Let's find out what that means. Uh, so we get to select a skill. We've got a target dummy over here. Places a dummy that cannot attack but has a lot of health. Okay. We've got Blink, teleports us to a location. All right. We've got Break Armor, which does crushing damage and applies and reduces, but it requires a melee weapon, so that's out. Companion, we can have a Raven, increases your critical strike chance of allies by 5%. Okay. I, I'm kind of digging the, the Raven. Let's go with the Raven. Yeah. I'd like to have that. With our attributes, we can move things around. I'd like to hit a little bit harder, so that's what I'm going to go with. I'd like to hit a little bit harder. Uh, we also have a talent point up here that we can pick between. So we've got backstab, we've got killing machine. Uh, so when we kill an enemy, we get 50% more damage on our next attack. We move a little bit faster. Weapon master. It'll make our crits hit harder. Okay, makes sense. Am I picking another one of these right here? No, okay. Well, I'm going to go with that, and then maybe we want to build crit instead because that increases the efficacy of our crits. Uh, what do you have going on? Have you heard what people are saying? People say terrible things are happening in the fields, going from bad to worse. It looks like not everyone came back. Maybe they're not even alive anymore. Uh, what do you do? I knew it. I knew that you'd come one day. I knew it. You came a long way following the dark ritual. You're drawn to the power, the power that haunts you and drives you out of your mind. Am I right? No. Right. Everybody thinks that I'm a madman, a deranged, feeble old dude who does nothing but fumble around with them crumbling scrolls, yet here you are, standing right in front of me. I'll tell you what I know. Darkness has passed over this land and arrived on two legs, just like you came. What's this library? As far as the eye can see, it's knowledge. Both my mind and my frail body are no longer able to handle all of it, but you, you can. And I'm going to help you, otherwise my life isn't worth living. Okay. Come in, come in, come in. It's good to have you back. I'm living out my final days with my archives, but I can make myself useful for you. I can teach you everything. Come to me and you'll get everything that you need. Yeah, but what are you even doing here? Well, when the time came, I made my choice and it delayed the inevitable, at least for some time, for my lifetime, and I know why you're here and what you're looking for. Unfortunately, I have. I hear footsteps in the darkness and they're getting closer to the thing my order was protecting the world from. What is it? Not yet. It's not the time. For now, just know that the darkness has grown stronger, and he's going to do something that will destroy us all. Alright, so this is where we can buy skills at. That's really, really cool. I really like the idea of chain lightning, dude. I want that bad. Okay, so apparently there's magic spells. There's melee spells. Look at them all. And you can just freely, like, really what this game is going for is ultimate sandbox freedom. Like, it's a series of strategy battles that you fight, and you get resources to buy whatever you want with whatever skills you want to build whatever build you want. And that's really, really cool. I like that a lot. It's a good idea. Apparently, this is all hunter spirits over here. Ooh, I think I'm going to go with summons, man. I love summons. Yeah, I might have to get myself like a wolf or something that hangs out with me. Yup. 
I think that's what's going to have to happen. We also have protection spells over here that we can play around with. We can cauterize our wounds. So we can burn our wound, dealing 9 damage to ourselves, then restoring 18 every turn for 3 turns. So you're trading for 54. 9 for 54. That's, that's actually not terrible. Like, it's not awful. That's a pretty good change. A potion of protection. Reduce your damage. Some first aid. Oof, that's nice. Not enough gold. Oh, I don't have any money. That's right, I'm poor. What does this guy do? Greetings, traveler. What's it look like I'm doing? Armors, axes, traps, door hinges, whatever you want. Evil creatures are roaming around, but here in my forge, even the devil gets all sweaty. You scared? Keeping the heat in the forge is my job. My father hammered the anvil with his very hammer. If death comes from me, I'll meet him as it befits me, with my usual hospitality. Where are you from, traveler? I've been traveling for so long that I've forgotten. Yeah, I remember those found after the war, wandering around muttering something to themselves, lost their minds from what they saw. You one of them? So apparently there's forging. When did I get a demon heart, bro? I guess it's an ingredient. Okay. Well, let's go to the shop. We'll do some trading. Oh no, dude, I didn't want to sell that. That was an accident. I was just I was just playing, man. It was just a joke. It's just a social experiment, dude. It's just a prank. I didn't want that. All right. So we got our ingredients now. Obviously, I need to put that on because it's better than what we previously had. I'm going to sell that right there. That'll give us like 370 bucks. I'm going to stick with the guns for right now because I like the idea of having guns. Uh, it looks like we have a demon heart and we have a diamond. That'll give plus four. Can I slot that in right there? It doesn't look like I have any slots. Uh, we can get a plate belt, which will have random attributes or whatever on it. What if I go over here? Do you do anything? So you can make a... Oh, you got little parts and things too. Do we disassemble stuff? Is that what we do? Ah, you disassemble weapons and you'll get parts to make new ones. Gotcha. So I guess if I have an adamantite hammer, I can socket this. Oh, I can add a socket to it. Gotcha. Okay, makes sense. All right, I'm starting to feel for it. They throw you it, so it's a sandboxy game, so they throw a lot at you right at the beginning, but, like, you figure it out with time. We got Predatory Flora over there, Nightmare Modes, a Wasp's Nest is out here, and it looks like we're going to get a helmet with a socketed slot for it. I think it's a good idea. Uh, I think we should go for it. All right, where's my, where's, my, where's my raven at? Let me summon my little buddy right there. He's got 74 HP. Nice. Does he just, like, act on his own? I'm curious about what he do-do. I gotta end my turn. There's not much I can do here. No, dude, not my raven. Leave him alone. He's a family raven. Wow, I stepped perfectly into that. Okay, uh, let me help my raven out over here, even though I'm standing in the midst of a, an ass-whooping zone. Our damage did go up pretty considerably from that strength increase, so... Apparently, we grip the pistol tighter, and it hits harder. Does he share my AP? Like, when does he get a turn? Ah, right there is when he gets a turn. Okay, good to know. I can resummon him if he dies, too, so I'm not really that worried about it. Uh, I'm going to get inside this guy's range. There we go. We'll start busting on him. Bow, 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 bow. Come up to here. Pop a couple shots at him. There we go and give it to him. All right, on to the next dungeon. Let's roll. Oh, my good man. Thank you for not leaving us at the mercy of the predators. Do you see where they came from? A man was here, a strange one, not far and had three heads. Three heads? I mean it. He had three heads, and these creatures seemed to obey him like little pets. Where'd you see him at? In the meadow. He waved his hand, and the whole swarm went mad. We barely got out. Okay, good to know. I like that your pet stays summoned in between maps. That's really nice that I have to drop 6 AP every single time I want to summon a new pet. I really, really dig that. Ooh, nice little crit right there, too. Oof, gave it to him spicy style. I'm a little bit worried that my raven's going to end up tanking more than I want him to. Yeah, he, he's making some decisions right now that I don't know if I'm on board with. Just keep shooting. I do like, if you notice, he fires out of his left hand when we use the one shot, and he fires out of his right hand when we use the two shot. 
It's kind of cool. Like, it's little details like that that tell me that somebody cared about this game when they were making it. It's just little imperceptible things that a lot of players, like, won't even notice. When it's your job to look at indie games every single day and, like, fiddle around with them, you start to notice these little things, like the different attacks coming from different hands and stuff. They just jump out at you. I like it a lot, though. That's really, really cool. All right, so what the hell is that thing? A wasp hive? Oh, we probably got to take that thing out. How far can he move? Okay, so we want to move to, like, right there at the most. Luckily, that's as far as we can move anyway, so who cares? Oh no, Raven, you messed up, buddy. Oof. We might have to get aggressive with this guy. I mean, as long as the Raven is soaking hits, I don't really care that much. So, like, I don't know... Like, part of me is thinking that I need to make a push for this thing and kill it. I don't know how frequently it's going to summon enemies. But... I think I need to kill it. Oh, inside of here, there's an option where I can control my minion. Nice. I was going through the options, just looking around to see what was available, and I was really happy to see that option. I'm just going to focus all of my fire on this thing so he doesn't summon any more little bad guys on me, dude. Like, I I, I was thinking he was going to summon an enemy, like, every single turn. And as it turns out, he only summons one, like, every four or five turns. So it wasn't that critically... I could have held my ground and killed this wasp off. It wasn't super ridiculously necessary that I rush him like that, but... We seem to be all right. That's the quest. 36 XP right there. That's going to be another level up. Probably going to be another stat point or two. Oh, I got to choose a reward. All right, let's go with the leather helm for right now. Yeah, let's go with the leather helm. Now, we've got another attribute point, so that's really, really nice. We can also pick up a skill. Uh, we've got snowball there. We've got dash. Okay. Might not be a bad plan. If we could get something that gives us marksman points, it'll upgrade our quick draw. Or no, it'll upgrade our marksman ranking. Okay, so like they've got overarching goals that you're trying to hit. So if you have two abilities on your bar that are tagged as marksman, you'll get six more critical strike chance. Got it. Okay, so I'm starting to see like there's some depth here, man. Like the game is not much of a looker, but it looks good enough. And then on top of that, like there's some serious depth here, man. It looks like we can refresh and try to get lucky if we want to. I don't have anything marked as... Yeah, I don't seem to have much that's marked as Marksman, unfortunately. Fighter and Assassin right there. Increase the critical strike chance of your next attack by 100%. That's not bad if you're doing crit builds. We've got Hunter right here. If we can get four points in Hunter... I actually think that Throw Net is a really good idea. If we can get Hunter, we'll summon an owl bear on our first turn which I think will carry us, so I'm going to confirm that. It seems like there's a pretty widely diverse range of skills. It looks like we've got hunter skills, we've got necromancy, we've got pyromancy, we've got paladins, we've got just plain barbarous fighting. Like, there's options here. I, it's surprising me with how much there is to fiddle around with. Uh, I would like for my critical strike chance to go up, since it seems like with the pets and whatnot that we're taking, that our critical strike is going to be kind of like paramount. Oh, it's you. Anything new? This whole evening won't be enough to answer your question, Traveler. Long story short, no. I can't do it that way either. Those sounds are bothering me like something's rumbling. Must be from the lots of work, as if someone rattles the stones inside my head. There's a wasteland covered with boulders nearby. Maybe the rams are locking horns. Oh, so he's got things that are making like a ton of noise out there. Oh yeah, I needed to socket some stuff though. Uh, let's socket... Oh, I need the hammer thing, though. What is that, a treasure map? Oh, cool. Hold on. Where's the treasure map scenario at? Is it an adventure? Nice. Oh, we get a treasure? I gotta go after the treasure, man. You can't just say that there's a treasure.
Oh, we gotta play Minesweeper? Dude, I'm so bad at Minesweeper, though. <laughs> I didn't know if the shovel marked it or if the shovel blew me up. I, I was had I had to take a chance. Like I knew there was a mine right there, but I didn't know if the shovel removed the mine or if the shovel was me digging for the treasure. I wasn't super positive. I probably should have gone through all my abilities first. Either way, it's funny to get blown up. <laughs> I, I I honestly I should have looked through my abilities. I got ahead of myself. Oh, my name is Splattercat. This is a little game called Dark Bestiary or Bestiary. But surprisingly, it actually has a lot going on. Like, it has a surprising amount of stuff in it. Um, it's jumped out at me here today. I did not expect this level of depth from, like, a little RPG strategy game. And I'm impressed. I really sincerely am. I'll see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. Thank you for being here. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. I also run a Twitch stream, which you can find at twitch.tv slash splattercatgaming, where I'm live most days of the week, and I'd love to be your host. Uh, I will see you all with some hot and fresh off the indie skillet tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to check out the game if you enjoyed it. Support indie developers. Bye, everybody.